Hi, this is Emmett from Pixel Mousery, aka Just Mice on Tumblr. Um, I made a post recently and mentioned that I pick up my mice by the tail sometimes. And someone anonymously asked me if they could show, if I could show exactly how I do that. Um, because there's, you know, there's a wrong way and there's a right way to do it. Uh, so here's that video. Um, I picked up some mice from one of my bigger bins. Most of these are babies. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, this is Magnolia. This is... Wait, are you the mom or the baby? You're... <laughs> this is Blaze. This is Indigo. That's Willow, Maple, Rotini, Cypress, Willow, Cornflower. I think that's all of them. Uh, so anyway... Uh, so what you don't want to do is to pick them up towards the end of the tail right here. If you pick them up here, uh, there's a chance that the uh, skin of the tail could come off or the mouse could struggle and end up breaking the tip of their tail, which would be no bueno. Hey guys. So I normally pick up my mice by putting my hand uh, lower than their eye level so that they're not as afraid of my hand. Uh, because mice are prey animals, obviously, and they see things coming down at them from above, especially something like your hand, as like the talons of an eagle. And they don't like that as much. These guys have been bred uh, for temperament, so they're pretty chill about it, but a lot of mice are not. Um, but <laughs> I picked these babies out because I thought that they would not be receptive to my hand to show how I tail them when they're not being cooperative, but these guys are being really nice. Uh, these are my <laughs> these are my favorites. A couple of them are probably going to be uh, holdbacks. Um, but anyway, uh, so if I wanted to lift one by the tail because they weren't being cooperative and not wanting to get on my hand, what I would do, what I normally do is I will take them by the base of the tail and just kind of, kind of in one swift motion pull them onto my palm. And if they're at the stage where they're likely to jump out of my hands, turn around, baby. There we go. I'll keep a hold on their tail like this, so they can't uh, they can't jump away. There you go. And see, there's no, you know, there's no injuries, no problem. Uh, sometimes it's just quickest to just pick them up by the tail and move them. Uh, it's a lot less stressful for them than to, uh, you know, corral them into a corner and forcibly grab them. It's okay, baby. So that's that's not as ideal as just just taking them by the tail and lifting them up like this. It's a lot less stressful for everybody involved. Less likely for you to get bitten because you're holding the rear end of the tail, the rear end of the mouse, I mean. And uh, they're less likely to get spooked by thinking you're like some eagle gonna grab them up and eat them. Oh my goodness, so many babies! Hello! <laughs> well anyway, that's my video. Uh, thank you for the question, Anonymous. <laughs> Say bye-bye, ladies!